What's up everyone? This is the Panda Photographer and I am going to be explaining what I'm going to be doing in New York City. And if you guys are new to this channel, please do subscribe. I'm a photographer that travels quite a bit. Uh, I do work for the city of Madison and I am going to New York tomorrow, Wednesday, October 30th. Uh, I'm going to be attending and shooting a Halloween party which I do every year with my Japanese friends. And what we do is get together and just have a good time. So this year, we're not going to be doing it at my buddy Tech's uh, loft. Uh, last year, we did it at his loft, which you have seen in previous videos. Uh, but this year, we're going to be doing it at the Trad Room. So this is located in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, the address is 266 Malcolm X Boulevard, Brooklyn, New York, 11236. Uh, it is not located in Manhattan because there is a Malcolm X Boulevard in Manhattan. So keep that in mind. And the reason why I'm doing this on my laptop is going to be just showing you guys the whole entire process. I'm going to show you what I'm going to probably going to be doing at the venue. Uh, but I am grateful that uh, we are doing this again next year. So I'm going to be in New York into Sunday. I will be back in Madison on Monday because I have to importantly come back on monday because this is a very important thing at work i need to be attend to so let's just dive into this so uh basically i'm going to show you where the map is where this place is located in brooklyn uh and as you can see on the map it's located in uh, stuyvesant heights it's not far from bedford stuyvesant brooklyn uh it's maybe like 10 minute cab ride from my buddy tech's place or five minute cab ride from my buddy tech's place so uh, I'm going to give you guys a tour of this place so you guys have a good understanding of how I might and might not shoot some of my photos. First and foremost, I'm going to be using speed lights. If you are a, a, a strobist and you don't have speed lights, uh, I suggest getting some speed lights when you do environmental shoots or events photography or party events like this because speed lights come in handy. So. Let me just give you a tour. First and foremost, uh, this is the entryway here. And as you can see, this is a Japanese owned restaurant. So they have very good foods. And I'm gonna show you some of the foods after me explaining some of these things to you guys. Uh, so with that said, um, as you can see, there's adequate light in here. And basically I don't really need to use speed lights, uh, but I'm gonna still use speed lights. So I'm gonna actually uh, calibrate my white balance uh, with a white balance card. And what I'm going to be doing is using ambient light and the speed light in some cases. In some cases, I'm going to be shooting at f2.8 just in case I want to get a close up shot of someone's uh, face or a portrait shot. Uh, but most of the time, I'm going to be shooting this at f5.6. Uh, I do want some bokeh shots. Uh, you know, I want to compress some of the background because the lighting here looks really amazing, by the way. Uh, but I do want to emphasize two things. I may set up a speed light in this corner here. So facing up to the ceiling. So when it bounces off the ceiling, it softens the light back down to my subjects or to the party goers. Uh, and might put a, another speed light here to bounce off the ceiling once again up here. Uh, so therefore, like it gives me nice soft lighting. So I don't need to use any diffusion or any diffusers or anything like that. I will be setting up, whoops, let's go back out. Why did it go into the bathroom? That was weird. <laughs> that was very weird. I may set up with tech. Tech may be back here. He's gonna place his table, his turntables here. I might use this table or we might put these two tables together. We're going to put our belongings in the back here so it'd be safe. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it, every time we throw a party, it's always been a safe environment and a safe, good time. Um, it is $10 to get in. So if you guys want to book, uh, I will show you that in a little bit. But I may set up a speed light here. Uh, or I'm thinking maybe I will put a speed light up right here on this counter here. So when it bounces off the ceiling, I'm going to face up the head towards the ceiling and bounce back towards the DJ just in case tech and whoever is playing music uh, if I need to get a group shot that light in plus the speed light on my uh, camera which I'm going to be using Sony by the way I'm going to be using a crop sensor 24 megapixels is going to be enough but also I'm going to be 
also be shooting JPEG. Wait, I know some of you guys are going to say, wait, you always shoot raw. Why are you not shooting raw? The reason why is because I want to just give these photos to tech and to the owners of the chat room so they can share it right away on Instagram. Um, I'm not going to worry about editing too much. I can edge some JPEGs to a certain extent, but I'm going to make sure that I got everything right in camera. So that's important. So yeah, as I was saying before, I might put a speed light up here and bounce it off the sealant so it softens the light. And I'm also going to be using a V860 Mark II from Goldox onto my A77 uh, camera. So I'm going to be using crop sensor. I'm going to be using the Sigma 18 and 35. I may use a um, 90 mil micro lens just in case for some portrait shots in the back because they do have the back patio. So yeah, but as you can see, it's pretty adequate for a lot of room here. So uh, I can work with this area. It's different from the Robin Room. It's different from the Majestic. It's different from uh, any other place that I have done, you know, environmental shoots or event photography. But as you can see, it's pretty nice and pretty damn lit. And I am really, really excited to uh, join this uh, venture, I guess, uh, to shoot at a new location. This is going to be a new location. So, and this is what I do as a travel photographer or event photographer, weather photographer, portrait photographer, landscape, I scout. It's very important to scout your location so you have a better understanding what the lighting situations are going to be. Uh, I'm not going to use any, de uh, any uh, diffusers. I may use one for my V860 Mark II or my speed lights from Godox. So I'm going to be using Godox speed lights just to emphasize that. And I'm not sponsored by Godox. Uh, I do like their product sometimes, but it, it they do work. The speed lights do work and come in handy. So, but I also want to show you guys, just in case if you ever want to visit this place in Brooklyn, uh, they do make a uh, really nice coffee. I don't drink coffee per se, but I drink tea. But this is how Japanese coffee is brewed. Do like a filtration steam system. So if you guys never see anything like this, uh, this is how it's always been done in Japan with steaming coffee. It's a very unique style. This is some of the food that you guys may ex expect to be served, like breakfast. Uh, and this is the entryway. And they have oysters. I'm a big fan of oysters. You guys know I'm a vegan pescetarian. I like vegan food. I like pescetarian food. Uh, a pescetarian is someone that eats seafood, but not all seafood. I like squid, octopus, oysters, uh, some sushi I, now and then, but I don't eat too much of it. Um, so this is some of the desserts. And I want to talk about this photo, by the way, because I like how they use the natural light, but they also use a soft diffuser to get rid of some of the highlights and over highlights here. And you can see at the ring of the plate, that they really execute this photo very well. And you can see that this, the highlights is not overblown, it's perfectly lit too. So executing this with natural light is very, very important. Uh, yeah, lots of great delicious Japanese food. Um, yeah, they got pork. If you're into eating pork dishes or chicken dishes, or they got uh, desserts for the kids. If you want to bring your kids here and look at the bulk in this bag. This is why I want to actually maybe shoot an f2.8 or f2.0 or 1.8. I want to get some bokeh shots of some some of the guests and some of the food and the natural light state. Uh, some of the French toast here, as you can see, the desserts. Ooh, oysters, oh yeah, so delicious. So just to give you guys a good concept of what kind of food they do have, if you ever want to come visit New York, you're looking for a good place to eat, uh, and yes, they do have steak and potatoes for you guys that love your steak and potatoes. So this is actually another good example of using a speed light, but soften that light to give off, because you can tell this is used by speed light because of the shadow here. It's not, it's not extracting from the subject, which is the food. It's actually bringing a nice contrast look to the food. So. But these are some of the breakfast menus here. They do catering if you want to do a birthday party there or something like that. If you are interested in doing a birthday party here, 
We got soup dishes, which is my favorite, which is this pescentarian. So this has octopus, squid, um, uh, parsley, uh, scallops. Oh, so delicious. So if you guys are interested. But yeah, I'm going to be shooting here on Thursday and on the Halloween. Um, so I might be doing this live stream at the event. I will keep you guys up to date if you guys want to tune in on my Instagram the Panda Photographer, or my word. You can go down in the, the descriptions below. You can follow me on social media. I'm very active on social media. So, and this is the group. Here's the party. So, yep. And basically, it's going to be a good time. You got burgers, fries, and everything else. So, if you guys are interested to in checking out some of these photos and checking out the location, please do so. But this is the Panda Photographer. And I will see you guys in the next video. You guys take care. I keep you guys posted, but make sure that you do subscribe, you do share, you do uh, let everyone know that tune in to my Instagram if you want to see the live event live. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.